you know, when it's your day off, it makes it really hard to get up. It really does. I have to go to the bathroom. When you sat too long in the toilet, you kind of just have to stand in one spot for a minute. Apparently, I'm six years old and don't know how to pour a bowl of cereal. I recommend watching Life of Brian by Monty Python if you're sad. Specifically, the end of Life of Brian because you always got to look on the bright side of life. Today is... Uh, Mostly cloudy with increasing winds and a high of 48 degrees. Current temperature is 39 degrees. Well, unfortunately, my prescription is near 10 years old. So, I cannot get glasses without a new prescription. I don't feel like my eyeballs have changed, but because of that, I don't know if there's like some kind of rule or something, medical rule, I have no idea. But all I know is that I have to have an exam before I can get new glasses. So, good thing the hot glue is holding up. It'll hold up an appointment on Wednesday, which is my next day off. That would be Jul July, January 31st at 10 a.m. So, Next week, Wednesday, I will be getting new specs. Uh, since I'm here, I'm gonna get Starbucks. Oh, so I've noticed, or well, me and a few people at work have noticed yesterday that there are a lot of, I, if you have a, like an optical center, whatever, that is nearby a coffee shop. Either next to or nearby a coffee shop. Do you ever notice that? I don't know if it's the same everywhere else, but in Madison, we we noticed that there are like three that we thought of anyway. The one I just went to is a Starbucks right next door. There's one on the west side has a different coffee shop right next door. There's a commercial where this lady is um, buying glasses, which well, she's drinking coffee. She's drinking coffee. So what is the correlation between glasses and coffee? It's like glasses and coffee all together. Um, so I tried, I don't know if it's like just something, I we are just coincidence. I don't know if it was just coincidence or if we're just like, just noticing this marketing ploy or whatever it is I don't know but I guess you know if you think about it you go to your most optical stores eye glasses where you buy glasses you gotta make your glasses in an hour so what do you do just hop next door or wherever to and get a cup of coffee or tea or something you know um, while you're waiting for your glasses to be done so if they're not like in a uh, mall, they're, you know, um, they're, uh, you know, near some kind of food or coffee place. Weird, right? Anyway, I'm going to go get some coffee. Bye! So today is a, like a hair down kind of day. I don't feel like having it up. It's messy. It's not combed. It's not perfectly quaffed in some way. I just like blah. I don't care about my hair today. You know, it looks fine. It's whatever. Uh, okay, so I was going through the drive through and apparently I was taking too long. Um, I was talking to one girl, and she's giving me suggestions on which cookie I should take. I'm like, okay, I like this cookie, and blah, blah, blah. 
And I'm like, I'm like, anything else you could like? And I'm like, well, can you put some extra caramel in your... And then this teenage boy jumps on and be like, well, how many extra pumps of caramel do you want? We normally put in six, which is a lot of caramel, by the way. So I'm like, well, that's enough. But he was like, he's like, okay, it's total, it's blah, 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 the window. And I was like having a... I was put in a good mood by the person, the young lady before him. And then he just jumps in. Apparently, I was taking too long. He was the one working at the window, and she was taking orders. So I guess he was bored or something. I don't know. Stack some cups or whatever. But I almost said, um, can I talk to the other person I was talking to before? She's a lot nicer. Yeah. Anyway, teenage boys. Some teenage boys are just... <sighs> if there was a word for that, that's what he was. Frustrating, I guess. I don't really know. But anyways, I'm home. I'm going to watch some Netflix and chill on the couch. Drink my uh, caramel chai tea latte and um, enjoy a couple of cookies. Okay, bye. Played too many games on my phone. Battery's going low. So I'm going to plug it in. Whoops. Then I'm going to take a nap. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Man, what an unproductive day. Couldn't get my glasses. I have to have a stupid eye appointment. But the only thing productive was I got my workout in. That was it. And then I just watched TV after I came home. Well, it's like 4.12 right now. So I'm going to head over to Russ's work. I'm going to be really early, but whatever. I'm just going to, I don't know, watch YouTube or something. So um, that's it for now. I'll see you later. Sometimes JJ's a big baby. JJ's a baby? JJ, little baby! JJ's a baby? JJ, little baby! It's a baby, JJ. Okay, let's go in the kitchen. I'm going in the She's a baby, you gotta hold her like one. Russ is gonna make steaks for supper. Yum. He likes his well done. Done right! I like mine. Medium rare. Done wrong! Done, Myra. He can't accept that we like things differently. You're gonna have a visit from Miss Minnelli. First name Sally. Anyway, that's it. So he's gonna make some meat. I like meat. When I was, Dad said when I was like four or five or something, he asked me what I wanted for supper. And I said, All I want is meat. And, uh, so, that, I, I'll never be a vegetarian. I could never be a vegetarian. I asked my nef my niece if she could be a vegetarian. She's like, I could never be a vegetarian. I like bacon too much. I think she was, like, 11 or something when she said that. It was pretty funny. JJ, for serious. Oh, my gosh. You go up any higher? You can't get on my shoulder. Do you want to get down? Oh, there you go. Right on the couch. Good girl. Now, she wants to eat because we're home. We're both home now, and that's usually, oh, we're going to eat. I set an alarm on the on the Echo to uh, to go off at 6.30, which is like her normal ED time. So, yeah, I'm just waiting on that to go off, which is a few minutes. Just got a little while to go. So, you got to wait. So, that's it. Now, talk to you later. Okay, bye. I was sitting down, about to turn on the TV, and I sat on something hard. It is this. This is one of JJ's teeth. Yeah, like a molar. She has really bad teeth. And she had bad teeth when when we got her. 
but as you can see this is how bad it is look at how gross this is her tooth that's the like the bottom like that part of the molar this would be where the root was unfortunately she has really bad teeth but are you working out monday yeah should i not well i, I just asked because chris needs help with the mm. phone so yeah doggy tooth there is no doggy tooth fairy so she doesn't get anything well she will she would if uh we had anything but we don't have anything but she didn't like yelp or anything so i guess it didn't hurt her so that's good i just checked out where i thought it was it wasn't the tooth i thought it was it was the one behind it uh anyway i'm gonna go throw this tooth away and not hold it anymore so i'll talk to you later okay bye okay. oh jj you're hungry. It's 6.30. Time to eat for you. Time to eat for you, JJ. Jump, 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 jump. Food, food, food. Stay. 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 Good girl. Oh, hey, that nut's nothing yet. It's 9.55. Russ is sleeping. Uh, here we go, sleep too. Good night. Toodles.